today I want to share with you one of my favorite classroom activities. It's called the problem trail. Now the reason I like this so much is because it promotes discussion in a math class, which is something that's hard to achieve sometimes. It also gets the students thinking on their feet, quite literally, actually. The way it works is very simple. You are provided on this post with templates for a problem trail, as well as a student answer sheet. The way you work the problem trail is you create 10 problems with multiple choice answers. Each of those problems is placed onto a sheet, and each of those sheets are placed around your room in numerical order. Now the students can start on any problem they like. Let's say a student decides to start at number seven. He'll get a problem, in this case an algebra problem, and he'll work out the solution with his small group. Let's say they decide that the answer is x equals three. In other words, they think that b is the correct response. Now, if you notice, each of the multiple choice answers leads them to a new problem. In this case, b tells the students to go to number three as their next problem. Now, the way the problem trail is designed is that the students can start on any particular problem. Once they start, they should move to all 10 stations, and the last station should lead them back to the start. I like this activity because it gets students on their feet, moving them around the classroom in a, in a lively environment, and it allows the teacher to roam around the classroom as well and engage in some meaningful mathematical discussions with small groups of students. So it kind of changes things up a bit, and it's better than just giving the students a you know, the same old worksheet every single day in class. So, at any rate, I hope you enjoy the problem trail. I hope you find it easy to use and something that your students enjoy as well. For more classroom activities, original math songs, math magic videos, and more, please make sure to visit amazingmathguy.com.